What's up boys and girls, welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like yes. the video, and comment down below. Raisin Cane's, you know Raisin Cane's is the best, taking ch best tasting chicken fingers and their sauce is killer. It's the best, I could eat all day, every day. Raisin Cane's has been rated as the number one most craveable sauce and most craveable chicken fingers in the country. That is 100% the truth. Their chicken fingers are cooked, order, served, hot, fresh. Make my mouth water just talking about it. No wonder people crave it all the time. Also check this out. Raising Canes will be opening their first Miami location this month. If you're in Ch South Beach, check it out. It's right down the road from me. You'll probably see me there. Corner of Lincoln Road and Washington Ave. Satisfy your Canes fix fast by ordering through their online app or at RaisingCanes.com. All right. Uh, BFF's new episode. Markel Washington. Welcome back. Hi. Right, what's up, Dave? Return guest. How's guests. it going? Yeah, return guest. We don't have many of those. So um, welcome. Thank you for having me. Josh, what's up with this hat? Red Sox hat? What is that? Let's go, Josh. Yeah, it is a Red Sox hat. What I is like it? it? What do you mean, what is it? It's a hat. Like there, Well, there looks like, <laughs> I can't really see. It looks like there's a bear on it or the oh, number one. Like, what is uh, that? It's like, uh, what is it? It's a, a polo symbol, like a man riding a horse. Yeah, that's oh. what it is. So what is, yeah, what, what, what is that hat? It's a, it's a Boston Red Sox hat. <laughs> Well, I mean, I Are you being I know. I listen. I know it's a Red Sox hat, but oh, I know oh. they didn't wear that in the field in the history they, of the Red Sox. So, like, yeah, what is it's it? like it's like a custom one. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. You got your Bruins hat on. Yeah. I should, I should uh, Marina. Get, yeah, Marina gave me this. Nice. Yeah, she gave me a nice like gift package for uh, the holidays. All right. Um, up. Do we have to like redo Markel's intro? It's just like I got a little. I mean, we already did it. What do you mean we got, redo? Like, do we have to reintroduce him? We can reintroduce him. Introduce okay. him, Markel Washington, introduce everybody. Him in your words, Dave. What do you know about Markel? Right. I want to hear what Dave has yeah. to say. Because it's he, the he's, funny he's, that she knew that I was reoccurring, but two weeks ago, you didn't know who the hell I was when Bree said I was iconic, and I couldn't <laughs> have waited to come say that, Dave. <laughs> Mm. Well, yeah, I'm looking at right here. It says when Aisha and Azran Mian were on BFFs. Dave wasn't sure who Markel was, even though Markel was on BFFs before. So I I know who Markel is. So yeah. I don't know what how I didn't what it may have been in passing. I didn't see like a picture of him. Markel's the one with Charlie and what's his name was like talking or whispering and they're in a club. Um, right? Dixie, yeah. Yeah, Griffin oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so I know who he is. I knew we had him. So I don't know what you mean I didn't know who he was. What does that mean? We, Dave. <laughs> let's just you literally watch like the clip. who's that? Right, yeah, we we have the clip. clip. We have the clip. I there was a picture as well. Hilarious. Yeah, he's really so funny. funny. Icon. Icon. I Holy love him. fuck, Brie. I love him. That's a word. That's a word. Icon. Yeah. Wow. Maybe iconic. That's just as good. He's everything he is online and more. Yeah. He's like so genuine. I was gonna say captivating. Like I feel like when he when he enters a room, it's like you know. He is there. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Like he has a presence. Much. He has a presence wherever he goes. Dave, anything? Well, now I'm just going to think of Bree calling him an icon. Now I'm sweating this kid, and I barely I wouldn't know who he was till two minutes ago, and now <laughs> we're calling him an icon. <laughs> we have him on the he, was on the, he was on the show. <laughs> if he walked down the street, I wouldn't have known that. No offense. Now I'm going to have to because he's an it, icon. it was a Zoom episode. He's, yeah. he's, yeah. He was on the show, but um, he's, he's just an icon. He's an icon for me. Huge. Here you are, Bree. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I'm not. Yeah, you're gonna have to backtrack. I, I, I you're gonna have to definitely backtrack. Definitely recognize them. No, Icon, Markel. I like you on the show. You're no Icon. <laughs> I'm an Icon in the making. Let, let me tell you, so an Icon is reserved for like, I don't know, like ten living humans. Like, who's a fucking Tom Brady is an Icon. Fucking Leonardo DiCaprio is an Icon. Like, uh, I don't know the the. You can't be an icon at this stage. Right. I'm iconic. like, it's just manifestation. Yeah, iconic. It's a, it's like, it's a buildup. You know, they they didn't always start as an icon, right. but Correct. everybody probably told them as they were growing that you're going to be an icon or you're iconic. So Bree was just manifesting that and putting it in the air for me. Yeah. yeah or that just icon living. saying he's no icon. It's not like if someone said, hey, Dave, you're an icon. I'd be like, no, I'm not. Like, what are you talking about? Like, you, you have to have a pretty extensive body of work in career behind you to reach icon status. Yeah, that's Celine fair. Dion is an icon. But you still right. didn't remember he was on BFFs. No, I did. <laughs> you did? I think. 
I definitely, it's hard now for me to go back into those shoes because like I knew he was on the show and I knew what he looked like. If we, if we're walking down the street and a busy crowd, like New York, like Times Square, I don't know that I'd pick him out walking, but if it's just me and him walking other ways, I'd recognize. That's fair, fair enough. That's fair yeah, enough. yeah, that is fair. fair. Well, let's I'll just slide with that one because we've never been in the same room either. It's like Zoom. That's true. You know? mm. Well, well no, icon, that's you not throw true around icon. because if you I throw around uh, icon. You're thrown around every two seconds. True, but I did meet you in person, Dave. Fuck when. <laughs> Nah, this is getting uh, when worse. When y'all for you, came man. to uh, Saddle Ranch, that's when I met Bree with the purple hair, mm-hmm. and y'all did it. And then all the people were in the back, like, but it was we, a lot we of people. We literally like shook hands, like, "Hey, good to see you." Yeah. God damn. Well, now I feel like an <laughs> asshole. No, you're fine. You meet so many people, you know. Maybe I didn't make that big of an impression on you. Hell, I don't know. Fuck, man. I, that just that's tough. That's, that's just... a heart tap. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Well, I'm going to be better. That won't have that probably at the end of that, though, or, and, and I'm sure all of you, including Markel, Josh, Bree, when you're meeting a ton of people in a group, sometimes you're just zoned oh, out. Yeah, like, hey, nice it was you, a nice lot. Going around. Yeah. So, um, all right. Well, now I'll never forget. Uh, Bryce Hall got in a fight in Las Vegas club security. When I first got the sheet, the fuck's this guy doing? <laughs> Matt, <laughs> why wouldn't you do that without going in the camera angle, dude? Does it? You can, yeah. See, you can do it without going in the camera. What angle, kind of Matt. idiot was that? <laughs> same, That's same Matt. one as last week. <laughs> this guy, I may have to hire that guy. That guy has like the right type of stupid that I like around here. Um, <laughs> oh, shit, Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> the Bryce Hall fights Las Vegas Club. When I first saw this. <laughs> I was thinking like this was an old sheet, like that this was maybe from two years ago. I feel mm. like we haven't had too much of this type stuff with Bryce in a bit. I haven't seen the video yet, so let's watch it and then we can yeah, see man. what we got. Wait, what? Oh, shit. Hey, he's not a fighter. He never claimed to be a fighter. Uh, I got it all. Come on, Bryce. Not good. Bryce. I thought he outgrew this, too. Me, too. Come on. It's the new blonde hair. He's acting up. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Have you talked to Has anybody talked to him since then? You guys are all, like, best friends with him. Yeah, I was live the other day, and it started uh, getting, like, sent to my live stream all over the place. Like, everyone was like, holy shit, Bryce gone to a fight in Vegas or whatnot. Um, And then he FaceTimed me, actually, when I was live. He FaceTimed me. And all he said was, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. So I, I got nothing. It's a bad look. It's a yeah. bad look. To, like, and it's, this isn't, this isn't just, I don't know what better or worse. It's not really like a fight in Vegas. It's like security's asking you to leave. And right. you're like throwing punches. And at, they were like, calm. S- yeah. It's yeah. security. Like yeah. they're not trying to fight you for whatever reason. I don't know if he said you've been asked to leave and now you're throwing punches. It's not the first. I, how old yeah. is Bryce now? He's 23. 23, I think. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's the same age as me. He's 23. Yeah, it's a bad look. I, at least to me, it's like, what are you, a two-year-old? Like, you're throwing punches? Like, he threw a full-fledged punch at the security guard's face. Yeah. And then he got karma, though. He bashed his face off the wall, his own face. Well, I saw that. <laughs> and then a girl in the background, her little whistle neck ass, oh, my God, it's Bryce. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And somebody's like, he's like she's about to get a photo right, or something. Exactly. Yeah, like she's about to walk and be like, can I get a photo? Right. Oh, God, and the damn funny. cameraman, I got the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One person and honestly, about how he's not a I've fighter. Asked this before, but he's a celebrity. What do you have to do to get kicked out of a club in Vegas as a celebrity? Like you're pretty lenient. Like what? Like what are you uh, doing to be in that situation? I mean, I'm sure he'll he'll end up telling the story eventually, right? Right. Like, I feel like. Just knowing Bryce, I was seeing uh, him and Tana's uh, stories, and like he came up off of a B 
big ass wins. So I could just see him, you know, like trying to record the table or something. And, you know, they don't let you record the table. And Bryce like, fuck you. I do what I want. And then that lady or whoever the tenant was probably got offended, called the security. Bryce like, who the fuck is you? I just won $100,000 or how much ever he won. And then, you know what? Excuse me, sir. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Dude, fuck off. I'm bringing you all money. You know, I could just see how that conversation conspired or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't because it's like there's so many celebrities in Vegas bringing right. money to and I don't. And maybe I'm just not paying as much attention because I kind of know Bryce. So and he's on the sheet. But I feel like I don't see pretty well known people in those type of scrums very often. Not at all. So they probably maybe don't he react needs somebody like to go. Bryce. Yeah, maybe he needs someone to go out with, be like, chill out. I don't know. It's just a strange thing to get to that point. Come on, Bryce. Is he bad drunk? Is he a bad drunk? Yeah. Um, it's just a little crazy. Yeah, he, he definitely gets a little crazy. I think it's like it's like everyone. Like you know, you get to a certain point, and then it's like after that point, you you have a couple more drinks, and you're you're a little out of control. Yeah. Then he's Bruce know? Hall when he's drunk. Right, very much mm-hmm. giving Bruce wants to transform into a werewolf, giving Taylor Lautner. <laughs> yeah, that that either way, I think it's a terrible look. Uh, James Charles Cruz. Uh, this could have literally been a BFFs from back in time. Yeah, ja- James Charles accused of grooming. James Charles. <laughs> James could've Charles like is taking heat again after a straight man accused James. Car- <laughs> How does that even make sense? James Charles is taking heat again after a straight man accused James Charles of grooming him. How do you get groomed as a straight man? Right. I don't know if it was grooming. I, I seen the little follow up videos on TikTok. James was trying to get the guy to FaceTime him. And James was like, a conversation can get misinterpreted if we're texting. He was just trying to convince the guy to FaceTime him or something like that. And uh, he just kept asking the guy or whatever. And then the guy posted all the videos of him recording his phone on TikTok. So if I be like, oh my God, David, you're annoying over text, right? You don't know if I'm saying like, oh my God, David, you're being annoying. Or like, oh my God, David, you're being annoying. Or like, oh my God, David, you're being fucking annoying. Because all three of those are completely different like emotions that you cannot see through text. You only get to actually experience those through a FaceTime call or through being in person. And here it is. We have the picture. It looks like it's James Charles talking. It's uh, okay. It's a really lucrative role. It's called my boyfriend requirement six two. must love escape room horror movies and cuddling big dick armpit hair an occasional FaceTime call. This is salary zero, but it's a good job. I think perks include cute boyfriend, great personality, huge ass. (laughs) <laughs> free free living in a 10 million dollar house in la fun travel opportunities good head and more so that's what he was offering this guy yeah Damn. put it all out there really now why is it grooming is the guy young uh what um, Jim, he's gotten in trouble for like trying to make straight men turn gay and it's like kind of why should that be trouble because it's like it makes them uncomfortable. Like they clearly don't want anything to do with him. And he's like kind of forcing it upon them. But like this guy was obviously answering him and texting him back. Correct. That that's part, my that's point. The part yeah. I'm confused. Yeah. Because they were literally entertaining him and they built up enough uh, evidence or receipts, as they would call it, to try to expose him. And I'm like, if you felt uncomfortable, if you felt like you didn't want to talk to him, if you weren't interested, why keep answering him in the first place and leading him on? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah he was that's kind of what I, yeah, that's kind of was what my point, unless, unless we're knowing, like, when you say grooming to me, that starts talking about underage. That's yeah, what right. that means. So if you're just talking about a guy who's of age who is talking back to James Charles, and James Charles, you can argue whether he has good game or not, but if he, if the guy's responding, I, I don't really see what the issue now. If it's underage, it's not saying Different that story. Here, yeah. No, he but, he age checked him. I think people just nitpick every situation that James Charles gets into with the guy now because of his history. Right. Yeah, but th- yeah. Well, then that's bullshit because, like, what Markel's saying, you're responding to him. Yeah. So why wouldn't he think you may be interested? Exactly. And then you can just be like, "Well, that's weird game or not weird." But I, it's, they say grooming. That's a misleading title. Why do we put grooming on this thing, Austin? 
Well, we, it's clarified at the second part of the second page, but basically that's what everyone originally was like. This is what's happening. He's grooming. He's young. And then people started looking into it more and being like, wait, why are you only showing your responses? His sister came out and was like, he did this all for clout. Like he was leading James on. Well, this is my little brother. This is David's account. And he he was talking to James Charles um, about a month and a half ago. All those videos are a month and a half old. They spoke for a few weeks. My brother let him on a bit, even though he said he was straight. He, he was leading him on. And I was, I told my brother to take the videos down. He pretty much just told me to go fuck myself and didn't care. He obviously did it for views. There's no hidden meaning behind it. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so, and, and that is where the headlines always bigger than like the follow up. Like James right. Charles, James Charles got kind of fucked in this situation. 100%. Because like, if that's the boy sister saying that he was leading James on, he probably was telling all his friends, oh, I'm going to do this for clout or I'm going to lead James on and then expose him. Because he posted literally, he, he posted the same video because I looked at the guy's account. He posted the same video like five times just to different sounds. And then every response James gave him, he would record on another phone and then post that video to TikTok. It was very sketchy. Yeah, so that's dickhead move right there. That that's yeah. you're not, and, and like that goes back to the original point. He's trying to convince a straight guy to be gay. Well, it's like I don't think James Charles would be doing that if he didn't think that I was interested. So this this Period. is yeah. kind of bullshit. Um, teen boys mob Livy Dunn. Duh. I mean, <clears throat> this was crazy. Did you see the? Did you see like what was going on at like the gym meetups or whatnot? No, yeah, but it, it doesn't. So, I mean, it was like boys. it was like hundreds and hundreds of guys like shouting and cheering the most like outlandish stuff she at these security. gym meets, and then like bringing signs. Like this was one they had to actually the bus had to go through a different uh, entry point so that Livy didn't walk through all these guys with all the other like gymnasts and shit. <laughs> So it's I'm looking at the pictures. She's like taking pictures with the crowd. So is was this bad? I think that there were bad uh, moments, but she was trying to handle it at the same time. You know what I mean? Uh, from what I've seen, it's like there were like there were some stuff that was fine. Like guys, you know, going there cheering. What? Well, that's fine. You're like supporting Livy, whatever. That's cool. But then like some people were taking it to, I guess, like a different level and what they were saying and like cheering and chanting not just at her but at like other gymnasts it was more like other gymnasts at the meet yeah. were getting like trashed and everything so i think that's kind of what it was yeah um, she tweeted i will always appreciate and love the support from you guys but if you come to a meet i want to ask you to please re be respectful of the other gymnasts and the gymnast community as we're just doing our job yeah so i think that's that's essentially what the issue was is they were bashing the other gymnasts yeah they were disrupting as, as well. like, the whole gymnastics meet yeah and it's, it's a fine kind of line. Terrifying. Those all those teenage boys in that video are kind of terrifying. It is oh, a fine really... line though, because how do I say this uh, democratically? She brings it on. In the sense of, like she's a gymnast, but she plays up the sex appeal. She's obviously like a gorgeous young athlete. Like that to attract that crowd isn't overly surprising. Oh, right. yeah, like, she knows those are her fans. Yeah. Correct. 100%. They're just yeah, yeah, so, like, I, I get what they're saying. You can't be, like, I could all, obviously, they're, like, teenage boys that don't have a sense of, like, you're going to be a dickhead to the other gymnasts who are just there and have no part of it. But, um, you know, as long as they're respectful, I think it's kind of a cool thing. Like, that brings more, like, it brings, I, I'm guessing, and, again, I could be wrong, like, college gymnast meets, gymnasts aren't, like, sold out. She's bringing a lot of attention as long as the guy's, aren't total assholes yeah i think it's it's a lot like kind of like what you saw with the wisconsin like volleyball team a little yes. bit right like it's like they're they were sold out after that every single every single match but when people went they were pretty respectful like we went to a game and everyone was just cheering on the team like and everyone was about the team so that that was really cool and i think she could do the same thing with gym meets yeah 
And that's not even just regulated to like college. There's like Anna Kornikova and tennis and obviously sex appeal in athletes puts asses in the seats. Yep. Um, oh, I have a thing about this one. Emirata, Emirata says she attracts the worst men. This is obviously Emily Rejkowski on Emirata's podcast. She, re- she revealed that she attracts the worst men. This is coming after she recently split with Pete Davidson. She's so full of shit. Listen, she attracts every man. The problem is her taste in men, not the men that are attracted to her. She's gorgeous and beautiful. She could have a wide array of choices. She's picking shitty men. That's her taste, not the t- Like, yeah, you attract bad guys, good guys, green guys, yellow guys, six foot tall guys. Every guy is going to like Emily Rajkowski. Yeah, that's true. She just picks the worst ones. Possible. Yeah, that's on you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's kind of got to figure that one out. There's like track record. She's just bad. Got bad taste in men. Correct. Who's the other men she's had bad taste in besides well, Pete Davidson? Well, her husband like cheated on her, right? Yeah, her husband. Who's her husband? <laughs> he was a nobody. He was just a nobody and cheated. On yeah. Damn. He that was guy's cheating bold on her as fuck. In New York, and then. Now. Oh yeah, you were the one who had all the inside info on that, right, Bree? I didn't have all the inside info. I just knew of one person. It's a lot of info. Yeah. It's <laughs> one inside. It's one inside, yeah, I guess so. She's now on a date with Eric Andre on Sunday night. All right. You think this one will last? I don't know much about Eric Andre. Me neither. Funny guy, though. I think everyone like everyone that dates comics ends up traumatized. Hmm. So she likes funny guys. That seems to be yeah. funny bad guys. Uh, Addison Ray cuts Omar Fetty's hair. Addison Rae cut her boyfriend Omar Fetty's hair uh, and is now sporting a buzz cut. People on the internet are saying Addison saw the vision because they already think he looks hotter with short hair, although they may not have been many pictures. Okay. Good good shit. <laughs> I mean, he always had like a, like a good-looking face. Yeah. Sienna May's boyfriend kisses her stomach. People uh, speculate she may be pregnant because of that. Okay. Damn. Has that anyone is seen looking her? Like, a like has she been in L.A.? No. Nah. I haven't seen Uh-oh. her in forever. Have you seen her in a while? No, I haven't. I think she's been in Hawaii. Oh, she's I think she stays out in Hawaii. Yeah. Um, I, I guess. Yeah. That's a, we, that is kind of like a pregnant photo though to take. Yes. A little belly kiss. Yeah, big time. Yeah. Super pregnant. But I mean, vibes. it doesn't totally mean you're pregnant. Her whole no. brand is like love your belly. So Body, maybe he's uh, just loving her belly. Oh, good point. Good oh, point. it's like. Have your boyfriend love your belly like you do, kind of thing. Maybe. Well, it's probably well, good I, marketing. She probably well, had on one of her bathing suits and like draw attention to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, you're right. Uh, skipping Prince Harry's stuff. Northwest is Kanye. I saw this. People on the internet losing their mind over Northwest recent TikTok dressed as her dad, Kanye. Kim has been clear in interviews that her kids are kept in the dark about Kanye and Kim's relationship, how their divorce has panned out on social media. Uh, didn't they also? Yeah, North also posted a TikTok TikTok of her and Kim doing a dance to Taylor Swift song. Shake it off. Fuck that. I don't care. Do your Kanye shit. Oh, don't, you don't fuck with that? <laughs> no, I don't fuck with that. Don't don't play. Fucking you don't you you don't have the right Kim Kardashian to listen to Taylor Swift's music. How about that? <laughs> Bang. Damn. Boom. Mic nope. drop. Right. Boom. Slap. Pow. <laughs> Bang. But Bang. what? It's okay if North were to do it, right? No. No? no Wait, but, all, but she's in the same the, bloodline? The whole family is banned from doing but anything. But that's, that's not you, North's fault. You that's just her bloodline's no, fault. Well, tough. You can't. He gets Damn. a lot of benefit from those bloodlines, Josh. One of the things he's going to have to not have the benefit is of Gee. enjoying Taylor Swift's music. All right. Fair. I would take that. Be mega billionaire rich or Get just not have to listen to listen Taylor. You don't listen to fucking anti-hero. Not yeah, I, I think I would take North's. North's life, for sure. Period. Absolutely. He's going to have the some money. fucking shit to deal she. with, I bet, when he's older. She? she? North is a woman. Or a girl, I guess. Oh, but. yes. He thought North was a boy. Well, oh, I mean, yeah. She's, yeah, yeah, yeah. she's dressed. She is to dressed be fair, like she's dressed dude. as Kanye. Yeah. North, yeah. North, North sounds like a, a guy's name to me. North? I feel like it could be pretty, pretty both. I mean, you would never know there. You don't know what. I mean, he's dressed as Kanye. She she she, 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 she. looks God. exactly like him. That's crazy. Yeah, get the pronouns to accompany. <laughs> uh, Kylie Jenner, so Travis so Scott split. 
That's big news. I didn't hear that. Is this yeah. like confirmed? Yeah, they. Uh, I I just saw it on TikTok. Oh. All right. Well, Markel just confirmed it. <laughs> Markel did hear it firsthand. Yeah, because this next, remember he was with that other girl. That the yeah, Kylie sweet young, like. sweet young, sweet row. Yeah, yeah, you were deep in on that, Dave. You knew all about it. I did, I did, and I didn't believe that he was with young, sweet row. Mm-hmm. But maybe he was because they broke up. It could be. I feel like these two break up a lot, right? Or they are yeah. quite on, on again, off, off again. Yeah, yeah. But it, aren't they like having like their second kid or something like that? They, they already did. Have, they did have their yeah, second the, kid. The baby boy. Yeah, see, I'd be way behind. Yeah, I feel like she this just next... uses him to pump kids out. Wow, that's a statement. Yeah. Kind of seems that's like that. crazy. That is crazy. This next story, <laughs> I, lo, listen, I like Logan Paul. I'm friends with Logan Paul. This next story is horrible, and I pray <laughs> that it's not fucking true because it's a pretty fucking horrible story. The, you know what I like more than Logan Paul? Animals. Like oh. I'm the bit. I like animals a hundred times more than I like humans. Like I would push humans into ongoing traffic to rescue a dog. Like I like <laughs> I I am an animal person. So this story is was disturbing. I saw it today. A pig named Pearl was rescued by the gent- gentle barn sanctuary in California that people believed to be Logan Paul's old pet pig that he allegedly abandoned. The gentle barn said they were told the pig was breeded and sold to an influencer was likely made to believe their mini pig would stay small, but inevitably grew large. The barn said when the pigs cannot be cared for by their owners, they're often ditched. The barn said they don't know everything she has been through, but when they found Pearl, she was in poor condition, but she has been healed and is safe at the barn. There's some pictures of Logan saying I bought Pearl over a year ago. I was told she's a mini pig. She's not. And then they have the following of the the pig being rescued the condition oh my god I well truly, i mean it's truly, probably true if he hasn't come out and been like here's my pearl in my backyard well true but there is also and who knows all right i had a mini horse extraordinary yeah. extraordinary clara you did um yeah extraordinary course. clara of course did. yeah <laughs> extraordinary clara that's beautiful uh, yep and it was mine and Renee's when we moved to New York, we weren't going to have a mini horse, horse living in New a York apartment. Oh, right. yeah, there she is. Oh, that's a that's cutie. A cutie. Yeah. Wow. So we had to give up. <laughs> Dude, Extra you order. look so happy in that photo. Hello, that little bitch got jets. Like you look like you're blushing in that photo. Like yeah. it looks like a Christmas morning for a seven year old boy in that photo. Yeah. Stella being extraordinary. Clara, my knees are inverted backwards <laughs> a little bit. That was before I went to Italy and started wearing tight clothes. Um, How do you look uh, older in that picture? <laughs> well, because I never took a day off. I ate a full baguette and that was when I that was the baguette to- days. Mm. Yeah, I would go mm. get the Caesar salad at what's the place called? Panera. Panera, and then a full baguette for lunch every day, <laughs> full pizza for dinner. So it was it was Oof. weighing on me. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Those knees taking a lot. I don't know if the mini horse could have taken you for a ride, man. No, no way. you don't ride the mini horse. So what we did though, the point being is when we moved to New York, we made sure he had a home and he we brought him to a, a farm that and he's like now a therapy mini horse. He goes around and meets like people, makes him feel better. So my point, Logan, when he you think you have a mini pig and it turns out you got a gigantic pig, he may have taken steps to give the pig to somebody. And then that that's person, what you hope. Like, so you don't know. I'll say this. If he just and again, I don't think you would do it. But if he just threw the pig on the side of a road, he's a cocksucker. I don't think he did that. Why would he no. do that? Uh, he Is that where they a said dead body hanging in Japan? In that was a long time ago. That that, yeah, I mean, if you could do that, you, you got to totally mature from that. Get rid of a pig. Uh, my my question is: Did they say on the in the caption that they found the pig on the side of the road, or did they just say like it Yo, says this, here? This uh, the gentle barn wrote this. Pearl was found alone in a field next to another pig who had passed away. She came to us with tattered ears and a potentially life-threatening infection in her uterus that has since been healed. She clearly been through so much trauma that we can't begin to imagine, but she's now safe with us at the gentle barn. From what we've been told is believed she was 
purchased originally from a breeder by an influencer. People often buy mini pigs or, or teacup pigs for clout online, believing they will stay small. When they inevitably grow um, very large and have many unexpected needs, they're sadly discarded. While we don't know everything she's been through in the past, we know uh, her life is now filled with friends, nutritious foods, the highest quality care, and so much more. So Pearl's made it through. Again, they're very easily... Could have been a middle step. If this well, yeah, it, it's saying it's saying uh, that they found it with another pig, like or beside another pig that was dead, makes me think that it wouldn't have been Logan's because Logan didn't have two pigs, you Correct. know, or Logan gave it away, and then the other person that had the other pigs abandoned it, so it was like a step after Logan. But them spots are the exact same. Like, yeah, I, don't know I think it's the same. Pig. Look at that. I'm pretty like sure that, it's the those same are pig. the exact Someone same location of spots. Pig. Exactly. Somebody, whoever abandoned the pig, is a jerk. Yeah. We should yeah. Yeah. Fuck that them. person Bryce for real. For real. Yeah. We'll send Bryce Hall on your ass. Yes. But there's no doubt Logan right now is going through a stage where everyone's coming at him for everything. So this is very. If you don't like Logan, it's an easy thing to jump on. But again. Yep. I, I don't see him doing that, but who knows? All right, guys, quick commercial break. So Proper Wild is a clean all-day energy shot designed to boost your energy focus and productivity without the jitters or crash. So no preservatives, no artificial sweeteners, no horrible chemicals, just a natural tasting energy shot with clean ingredients that work. So they have a bunch of new flavors. They have strawberry, kiwi, apple, and lemon, lime. There's nothing worse than having an energy crash after having a bunch of caffeine, but with uh, Proper Wild, that won't happen to you. So you can try their new flavors. Like I said, strawberry, kiwi, apple, and lemon, lime. So go to properwild.com slash Barstool to try Proper Wild 30% off. Make sure to check it out. Our Taylor Swift is in. Oh boy. You got it. See ya. See ya. Well, try one more time. Z it's exactly how it looks. Sa. SZA. SZA. Yeah. Sa. 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 Are Taylor Zaw Swift and Za beefing on the charts? The internet is, was convinced Taylor Swift and Za were beefing on the charts. SZA. Because Zaw Who the fuck is this? Because <gasps> you're hurt. You don't know who SZA is? What's I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> You're gonna what? get destroyed. All right, it's I'm gonna, I'm gonna this season. All the girls be bleeding. I need, need a, a big, big boy. boy. You know it. You know, Dave. You know it. What's her number one song? Play Kill Bill. Have you probably heard that if you're on TikTok? Oh. We're calling her. She's a TikTok music. No, girl. That, no, that's no, the no, worst no, way no, to describe no, somebody. No, oh, she's not a TikTok. TikTok. She is not a TikTok singer. But this is blowing up on TikTok, and you've been on TikTok. We gonna play this? What's going on? It's playing. You took your headphones off. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> All right, I heard it. Get back. You heard that the before? League, SZA. What? What are you She's saying? She's trying to go toe to toe with Taylor Swift. Did we even read the full headline? That was like she one didn't try. snippet. She did. She's uh like, like one of the first girls to do Billboard or something. SZA is SZA. After losing her spot on Taylor Swift, began dropping different versions of her songs, which put her music back on top. And shortly after, SZA began dropping different versions of her songs. So that while, sounds petty by SZA. While promoting her, that sounds SZA petty by Swift to start she it. Hate seeing supporters argue, so she doesn't want any beef. Okay, then I'm fine with her. <laughs> you would die for Taylor Swift. Yeah, I, I swear, Dave is giving Swifty, babe. <laughs> I'm a big Swifty, huge. Jeez. Nate Wyatt split with Allison Sarzosa. Nate Wise ex Allison Sozoza, who has moved on with Netflix's Ultimatum star Zay Wilson. Zay and Allison were together on TikTok Live and commented Bay on a TikTok with Allison. Nay was quick to sh Nate was quick to shout down rumors that Allison left him behind in 2022. Well, Zay say he was talking about them, not me, when he commented Bay. Bay. Markel, do you know anything about this situation? I was going to say, you were uh -huh. in the mix. I got no clue what's going on here. You know, <coughs> <coughs> that is my roommate, but child, Jesus, take the wheel. Uh, Miss Allison, I, you know, I, I, I can't lie. I have not seen her around the house lately. Okay. She occasionally comes around, but you know, it. 
Like what time of night does she come? Very around? much giving that. I was on this <laughs> sneaky link, a meet and greet, a bump and go. <laughs> Sounds but, like it might be a bump and go. Right. Because, yeah. you know, couples break up all the time. They have their rocky patches. But Nate seems to still want to go back. He like, he say that Latin pool tank just it's like a tassel to yeah, him. Yeah, 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 got him whipped. It just hooks him back in. Fair all enough. right. There's Fair the enough. update. There we go. Uh, Mike Malak loves porn stars. I, that is that we know that that's not we breaking. That. That's not breaking news. <laughs> yeah, didn't he that's say that when anything. he came on the pod? Yeah, he's or he said very, he was taking a break from them. I think he he's been pretty pretty open about it. He I guess he posted a tribute to porn stars for being more than surface talent, saying he owes them big time for their content creation. How he's envious of the no yeah. Listen, Mike is a ride or die porn star guy. He said that forever. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like you, he, he really T-O does stand Swift. for the porn stars. I was about to say he's the porny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Correct. All right, go Jake away. Paul used porn star for clout and revenge. Ski bro- Sky Bree revealed on No Jumper that back in March 2022, Jake Paul used her for clout and revenge on his then ex, Julia Rose. She also made clear that Jake wanted to be mutual beneficial so she could get followers and fame from their, st- um, from their social media stint as well. Pro- yeah. so, That's, he kind of oh. just is what it is. Is what yeah. it is. Yeah. It is what it is. Uh they're they're seemingly though like pretty happily together now, Jake and Julia. Julia, yeah, they've been they've been well, uh, back yeah. been a couple. So why oh, because this was just released on Yeah, when they broke this up. This was just talked about just, it. Got she it, just it. talked about it. She, yeah, that's that's it, tough. Uh Eminem note. turns down performance fifty cent. Eminem turned down performing fifty cent at the World Cup. Fifty cent said they were given a nine million dollar budget to book them. Fifty cent would have taken one million. Eminem would have gotten the other eight. It's pretty fucking good. If you can do that. Yeah, why would he have turned that down? I thought I thought I saw something where 50 Cent said he wanted to do like the 8 Mile TV show or he was doing the 8 Mile TV show or something. Yeah, what did uh, if, did Eminem just not think that was enough money for him? No, he just he's like no matter money, he just didn't want to do it. Oh. He just, Maybe he had something against the World Cup being in Qatar, who knows. I thought it was crazy split though, 1 million to 8 million for the two. Yeah, that is crazy. Do you think that's right. like fair? That split? Yeah, just because of like the fame level. Well, I'll say this: like, I don't, Josh, you may have been there. Miami, I went to like a party on uh, what was it? Was it New Year? Was it New Year's? No, Halloween. Okay, maybe was it Halloween? Know. It was a party. Oh, Art Basel. It was an Art Basel. Yeah, yeah, party. yeah, 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 yeah. I was there, and like Fifty Cent performed. Yep, Eminem did not. And I feel like if Eminem did, it would have been a way bigger deal. Right. Yeah. Like, so uh, like maybe 50 the Cent split was performing is at like 11. Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah like 50 like Cent will be 50, like 50 Cent will be at 11. 50 Cent was at our 50 Cent's huge. But you do not hear about Eminem doing shit like that. So yeah. maybe it is the right split. Yeah. Uh, Lizzo wishes people had to pay to comment. Lizzo posted a TikTok saying she's. Uh, over people commenting on her other people's body that she's not here to please people she's here to make art music and the tiktok lizzo said she wishes people would have to pay to comment on social media um, to see how much time and energy they're wasting i actually would like like you the creator has the option yeah like you can put on pay to comment yeah that on your iconic. own yeah, well, that'd be pretty sweet i wouldn't mind if people are hating on me i wouldn't care if people paid to hate on me Run well, it. Yeah. i'm true. making money Exactly. I think more people would pay to hate than to like send love comments. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. You could 100%. she could just turn her comments off though if she hates comments so much. <laughs> you can do that too. And okay. she could filter them too, but yeah, just take out like the word. I feel like sometimes doing that though provokes there. like because then people are like wait, my comment didn't show up and it almost like like double, triple, quadruple down when oh, they no, know they'll, it shows they'll, up to them. Up. Yeah, yeah but, that's the problem. It oh. looks like it posted to you, but then it never will show up on Got the it. on yeah. The yeah, you can moment. you can you mute too, to right? It. Or is that just Twitter? You can mute like accounts, like you could mute yeah. an account or block. But like account, on Twitter, guess, you but. can mute so you don't even see it, and like you guys are just saying, the person doesn't know that they've been muted. Yeah, that's like that's what that's what that's what we mean. You filter a word, so it's like. Yeah, if you didn't want the word like fuck in your comments, you just filter out the word fuck. And then it's like oh. they could comment fuck and it wouldn't show up. Got it. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, Julia Fox's best celebrity date. Julia Fox revealed that her best celebrity date was with Drake, where flew where they flew on a private jet, cuddled on the private jet, landed, got Chanel bags. <laughs> That's a like pretty that. cool date. <laughs> that sounds like a very iconic yeah, date. Yeah, I would to love me. that date. Sounds fucking basic for Drake, though, no? I feel got like a private Drake's jet just involved, like a little though. lover boy. I feel like he is kind of he basic is. like that. He just, he just want to be cuddling and stuff. You yeah, know? he's just a silly little for guy. For sure. <laughs> Silvana so said she's guy. like, thinks Julia Fox is like the best follow or something on, I don't know whether it's Instagram On TikTok, or she, she goes on like tangents and uh, a lot of the shit she says makes sense. She's very smart. Huh. I kind of stopped paying attention after Kanye where she seemed like she was kind of from outer space. I think she is a little like crazy, but she's a smart, crazy person for sure. Okay. She's writing a book. I, I did hear that. I wrote a book. Alex Baldwin <laughs> begs fans to follow his wife. Alex Baldwin what? went on Instagram, begged his fans to follow his wife for a birthday to get a 1 million followers. Who cares? What's wrong with that? Right. The video is just, just the video is, yeah, funny. Kind of weird. It's All a right, ten minute video. long. And there are ten minutes of video. In ten the minutes? Yeah, they cut. Yeah, it ten minutes. Down, cut. It, it was like very long rants. Not even rants. It is my wife, Ilaria's birthday tomorrow, January sixth. Um, I would like to ask you a favor. I would like to ask you a small favor. I would like as many of you as possible. I would like a really great, great surge of people to follow my wife on Instagram. To say happy birthday to my wife. <laughs> Would you do that for me? Would you follow my wife on Instagram? Oh, no. Oh, uh, man. Please. Would you do that for yeah. me? Thanks. Right. Thanks. He's giving that old man of a uh, family guy. Hey, you want a popsicle? <laughs> yeah. Stop trying to get me in your basement. Yeah. I feel like <laughs> I was just groomed right there. Right. <laughs> yeah. It was a little. Would you do that for me? Made me feel a little Literally. Low key. A Bree, it was weird. But why did I low key? He's like, would you do that for me? Me start tilting up my hip. <laughs> <laughs> that, it was yes. just. That was very weird. But he was asking. For a follow and to tell his wife happy birthday, he should have just asked him to tell her happy birthday. And then if they liked her content or thought she was like, you know, it probably would have just followed her. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a weird video. A weird video. Are you guys too? Do you remember his famous video? His famous video? Alec no. Baldwin, like when he got in a fight with his daughter. Yeah. And he calls her, what does he call her? A pig? It's, yeah, oh. it's like all time famous. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so funny. Like, I, I mean, it shouldn't, I, maybe I shouldn't say it's funny, but it's really funny. Can we play the video? His wife was Kim Basinger at the time, his ex, I believe, who's like an all time like smoke. It's crazy when you Google Alex Baldwin daughter video, the first one is Brie talking well, about it. <laughs> no really? way. Yeah. Yeah, I oh, talked no. about it. it Congrats, Brie. Oh, yeah, it's a cell phone hey, I call. I want to tell you something, okay? And I want to leave a message for you right now. Me? I'm 
I'm gonna really make sure you get it. <laughs> then I'm gonna get on a plane, I'm gonna turn around, and I'm gonna come home. So you better be ready Friday, the 20th, to meet with me. So I'm gonna let you know just He's so exact. Right. He's so exact. Friday, right. really 17. Friday, the 20th, at 4.37 right. p.m. A rude, thoughtless little right. pig. For a twelve-year-old, yeah, that was like that, that's so funny. Out. When when he goes, when he finally drops the, 12. I don't care that you're only twelve. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, oh, whoa, is. wait, whoa, yeah. what the fuck? What does he uh, matter? So so she's not answering him, but answering the, the mother. I, yeah, he was yeah. going through a Something like, like rough, rough divorce. I think they had a pretty. Oh, so pretty, he was like, knows? oh, you're picking mommy's side, and he got yeah. mad. Um, yeah. the Popeyes meme kid wants an ideal nil deal. I saw this before. He plays football now. Makes sense. Um, all right, we got a video to react to. I don't know what it is, and then BFF's corner, and then we're done. Wicked. Wicked. Oh. Hey, pause this for a second. Has have you guys seen this video? No, I have not. So this is like a pet peeve video of mine. We talked about the rundown. I saw it just scrolling. It's violent. It's graphic. I think it's real, but at the same time, it's like. I, it's hard to put into words. It's not funny, but it's funny. Can we start from the beginning again? Just be ready for like the whole. It's a shocking video. Okay, okay, okay. It's a 50 cent plate in the background. Oh, oh damn. damn. That's a bowling God ball. Damn. She hit him with a bowling ball? Yes. That nigga, please. Oh my god. Right, but here, th th this oh, part's unbelievable. <laughs> then she gets a strike. <gasps> and Tyron Lu steps over the dude. Oh my god. Oh, he's almost. Oh, he's actually. He's actually bleeding. He's actually dying. He's dying. That's fucking. The strike is crazy. The strike is what it, makes it. The the strike is nuts <laughs> to just hit that and then it fucking well, Tyron Lude off. That should like attempt yeah. murder though. No? Yeah, Very yeah. Much. Maybe it might That's be a some ball. That's some crazy. assault charges for sure. Yeah, and no one Somebody. helps him up. No, right. helps yeah. him up. no one cares. They're, they're like, Somebody they're like, said, yo, hit the bull strike. that strike, bull <laughs> yeah, the strike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's crazy. It's that is funny. fucked up. Oh, we, that guy we hope is okay. But yeah, that video, yeah. that sequence of events, there's a guy just sitting there tying his shoe while the guy. <laughs> that's like a out. movie scene. <laughs> yeah, crazy. right. That's what it's giving. <laughs> it's so not funny, but yeah, it's crazy. It's hilarious, that's a crazy so. bitch right there. I crazy. thought she just tried to punch him. I didn't even see the bowling ball. I didn't. Ball. I, I, didn't I, I was it. like, oh my. Yeah, the original God. video said it. It's like bowling ball. And I watch it and then I hit that strike. Just crazy. Um, <laughs> With the yeah, same but, bowling ball, too. That's yeah. the best part. Like, she no, never she didn't even care. She thing. just calmly went up, she, strike. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, composed. BFF Corner. I was on Rogan last week. Um, how, how did you think it went? So. It's hard for me to feel like we talk a lot of MMA and I'm not. I know. That's where the, I got lost. I tried to listen. Yeah. I'm not the biggest MMA fan of all time. Uh, well, I shouldn't say that. I'm just a novice. I don't like, I don't go that deep in it. Uh, but yeah. I thought it's it, the feedback. I thought it went okay. I really didn't know how people would react to it. I'm getting two sides. Boring, sucked, awesome, best thing ever. It's like, which I guess is anything you do. Yeah. His studio is sick. Sick. Uh, he's got like full gym that looks like it for a football team. He's got like damn arrows. You can shoot bows and arrows. Um, three hours long. That's I cool. smoked a cigar. I'm not a big cigar guy. I thought it went well. Who knows? I, I saw that. Yeah, I saw good. that you had a cigar in a clip or something like that. Yep. I didn't actually watch it yet, but I saw the cigar. Uh, you were at the NASA championship, Josh. What a terrible game that was. Yeah. Did you see that? You see what I did though? No. Fuck TCU, right? Everyone was like, Josh cursed TCU. Josh cursed TCU because of the story. And I was cheering for the Bulldogs. Like, I was cheering for Georgia because TCU beat Michigan. So, enemy of my enemy became my friend that day. You know oh, what I mean? I, and right. so, I was cheering for Georgia. Fuck TCU. And uh, I was going around, like, cheering for them. And then uh, the social media girl for TCU was like, hey, can you do a story for the TCU team? And I was like, I'm, I'm cheering for Georgia. <laughs> and she was like, that's okay. Just do something. But, like... It just can't, you don't say your, what team you're cheering for. Just make it neutral. And I was like, all right. So I did it. And then everyone was getting pissed afterwards. 
but it's pretty funny. Do we have? What did you say? Video? All the story. The video was just like the story is nothing. Oh. It's literally just okay. me like, yo, I'm at the national championship game, Georgia versus TCU, because she said make it neutral. So I was like, hey, I'll listen. But people were getting mad after because I guess some people knew I was cheering for Georgia, but was on I, the TCU football team. I don't, I, I don't think anybody could say anything good to curse them. It was such a blowout. Um, I know. Right. I don't know how you blame that on me, really. Like, come on. Anybody. They beat you by like a basketball game score. Uh, all right. Well, game, where do you stand? I don't know what the game this is. The game is where do you stand on? So it's it's stuff that we uh, talked about last year and we had like strong opinions on it and see where we stand now. Oh, so we're still doing like the New Year's stuff. Yeah, we're we're keeping the vibe. Well, similar, okay. yes. Monty Lopez, Sherry Nicole, Young Grady, Love Triangle. Is it still going? I don't think it is, right? No, yeah. You know, these are just big headlines that we talked about consistently over like a long period. Okay, of time. so I hope this is where I stand on now. Is I hope it's dead. Yeah, I did see on TikTok. I don't know how true that is, but it says Sherry was carrying your gravy's baby. But I think that was just like I think a, that was like a joke, kind of like the last thing we just talked about. That would um, be the opposite of dead. I haven't seen anything from Monty Lopez. No, me I either. saw him twirling in the snow with some bitch, but oh. it was like, <laughs> yeah, I I feel like it's over. So, yeah, good. Yeah. Move on. Keep I guess. It, it was Keep like it was a little trendy fad thing. So, yeah. Lil Huddy's beef with Charlie D'Amelio and Landon Barker. <laughs> I feel like Lil Huddy doesn't give a shit anymore. Yeah. yeah. He's just living his own vampire life. 21st century. Mm-hmm. Yeah, same. This game's not fun. No. <laughs> these beefs are fucking lame. Well, all right. This game's dumb. We're just talking about things that are over and in the past. And it's like, how do you feel about this thing that's way over? Way over. I... Don't care no more. No, that game sucked, Austin. Well, it, it was more these are people that Markel is very much like related to or like involved with. And so it was a way of to get your guys' take, but also get his take rather than just being like, hey, Markel, what do you think about this? But all right, fine. Let's get the game. I like the game, Austin. It all right, then let's play. Markel can answer. I mean, like, what do you want us to say about like, uh, like fucking Noah Beck and Dixie breaking up? Markel, what do you have to say about yeah? What Noel do you Peck have to say about and, that, and Dixie breaking up? <laughs> honestly, it's so sad. <clears throat> it's so sad, honestly, because like obviously I got to see a lot of the back end stuff, and they were genuinely happy. But I, I just know both of them lived busy lifestyles, and yeah, it, it just gave like both busy. But now seeing them separate, both of them are in their like own era and thriving. So hopefully if it was meant to be, they'll be able to rekindle. But okay, as of right now, answer. I don't, yeah, I don't know of them talking or seeing any other people. So that's good. Okay. What do you think of little Huddy's beef with Brandon Landon, Landon Barker and um, Charlie? So I don't know their friendship. Like I, uh, Knew of Lil Huddy and I knew of Landon, but I didn't know that they were friends before. And, uh, yeah, so I, I don't really have a strong opinion about it. Like, I just want Charlie to be happy. And uh, well, I want everybody to be happy first off. But, uh, yeah, Respect. so. Respect. Okay. It's all love. It's all love. Do we want to keep going? No, we're good. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay. That's the episode then. That's BFS. Thank yeah. you, Markel, That's for joining BFFs. us. Thanks, Markel. Fuck. Dave will never forget you now. No, I Dirt. won't. I honestly won't. Too iconic. No, and side note, I was trying to say this earlier. <clears throat> Not trying to stir up any drama or anything, but uh, I did. The only person I've ever didn't have a good encounter with in LA was Miss Livy Dunn. Oh, shit. No shit. Why? What happened? The only person. We were at Saddle Ranch and uh, I was with my roommate and I literally, I promise you not y'all, and I'm not a person for drama. I reached out and tried to shake her hand and I said, hi, because I did competitive cheer. So I was a stand for Miss Livy Dunn. I reached out and tried to shake her hand. I tell you not, sis looked like this. Hi, nice to meet you. Wait, (gasps) roommate, where'd y'all say y'all were going? And I was like. And then he stood up for me, though. He was like, oh, come on. We got to get in our Uber, but we'll talk to you later. 
All that's, right, well, that's I, crazy. Hey, Livy, I what's think. up, Livy? You give me the word. You want me to hate her? I'll fucking hate her. No, we ain't gonna hate her. I just right. that was my that was my only probably, ever encounter with her. But it's like you know, first encounters are everything. So even if she was to apologize true. or say she didn't see me type shit, bitch, you saw me. Damn. Okay. But you gotta get she was just. I like right. This. I yeah. saw you yeah, see me yeah, see you, yeah. but she was paying attention to that damn fine ass man who was standing next to me. But she didn't Crazy. know he was gonna ride for me. That's the tea. But <laughs> I digress. I don't hate her or anything. But that was my. I was literally gonna say that earlier. But I was like, let me not get off here without saying it because no, I have yet to I'm see glad her. You, I'm glad you got it off period. your chest. I have yeah. yet to see her since, and I was going to say it to her when I saw her the next time, but I'm glad I got to say it She's here. She's probably been hiding from me. Because, child, if I would have said it in person, it would have probably been a little more aggressive. Like, puss ass <laughs> ugly. Like, it would have been giving very yeah. much ghetto. But I was, it was very cordial. So now she see me, she probably going to be like, sorry, see, I didn't know that. She, yeah, awesome. she's if you're going to do your it. fucking research, that's the research. How, find how, out how, who how, fucking Markel doesn't like and let him just rip him apart. That's what we got to do. Yeah, yeah everything. I like this well, guy, that yeah. guy. We almost Hello, didn't right, get it. Because I would have folded that bitch yeah. like some origami, <laughs> but you know, I digress. You did a 180. I like, I like everybody. I root for everybody. Period. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> no, but I still support her because she's freaking amazing at gymnastics, uh, and I love tumbling and all of that. But I'm just like, the first appearance is everything. And either if you knew me or not, like, it wouldn't have been nothing to shake my hand Not and just too hard to say hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah just yeah, a person. So it's yeah. literally, I Damn. swear to God, y'all, she literally act like it's me and Josh. Josh, stick out your hand, sis said. Hey, yo, what's up? Hey, nice to meet you. Wait, where'd y'all say y'all were going? And I was like. Oh, I would have been a time, you. like, ignoring that. Literally. I would have right. been like, what the fuck is Bri wrong with you? <laughs> Bree, and it took everything in me not to say, bitch, I will put you under this car and use you as a speed bump, ho. <laughs> But I was like, it was just so shocking to me, honestly, that I couldn't react at yeah, the time. Because yeah. uh, I would have read that bitch for Phil. But <laughs> I didn't have, like, I've never seen anything like it in my two years of being in L.A. I tell you, not everybody I speak to or come in contact with speaks very respectful. So that's why it's hard for me to give an opinion on somebody when they're like, who is this person? I'm like, damn, I don't know. I like, I always have a good encounter. But that one time, sis tried it and I... I just like I was like so shocked in my two years. That's the only person I had a weird encounter with. I can't believe we almost got through this show without that. Without friend. that, I know. Yeah. You know, Fuck. I I I was gonna let it slide, but I was like, I'm so happy. Uh -uh. You did it. Yeah, I'm glad you let it out. Yeah, that that that, that just that made the show. Yeah, it did. Did. You know? it really did. Thanks, yeah. and I hope our stands don't come for me, y'all boys. Oh, oh, they're that, coming. All, they're oh yeah, coming. you see how loud they were yelling <laughs> yeah, in that little you uh, can take uh, video. They're about oh, to start screaming. At they, you. they better believe. Thank I fucking might. Christ! I shook your hand when we were in L.A. I'd be fucking oh, under a railroad right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah man. right, right. Hit, hit by cars. <laughs> All right, there, what a way to end the show. Right, <laughs> what a way. Put that on my little fucking note card. Don't cross Markel. Never. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Love yeah. it. All right, that's BFFs. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> Thanks.